Hello and welcome back to Valheim. And let's see what we can do. Now, what I have done during sort of my time off camera is I've done a lot of minor things here. Uh, for example, I have put an, another layer of roof in, sort of halfway up. You can see it doesn't really line up properly, but um, I have basically done a half block of roof to make the overlap a bit better all the way along which means this now works a lot better and i have also smoke tested this and it it works now i can't really stand all the way over here in, in the smoke like if i stand all the way over here i might start choking choking on the smoke which um, would be kind of bad so let's um, not do that uh, let's go down here another thing that i have done is if we go out here to the rain is this is completely different i have redone this as well and sort of made just a corridor so i can get down to the harbor this way um and once i have stone i will sort of redo how it is over here where there is no roof and i have put in a bit of um doors to make it possible to get around and i have done some resource gathering and things because i yeah I, I, I need to, i need a lot of resources and i think if i remember correctly one thing that i want to do is make a cauldron and a cauldron requires 10 tin so i actually want to do something like this now i have also put in more storage as you can see it's all the way over here now and i have flattened the ground sort of around the tree a bit um to make it more accessible but otherwise i haven't really done much what we are going to do now is i have A thing which more or less absolutely have to be done and uh, that is upgrade my armor i have not upgraded my armor in a long time so i do need to upgrade that and do all of that there we go there was a reason why i needed to make the cauldron the cauldron opens up a lot of different um recipes for example queen's jam queen's jam is very very good and then you get mead base and i need the mead base for poison resistance 
and poison resistance needs a lot of honey thistle necktail and coal i think the big issue is actually the honey so let's see if we can fix that i if i remember correctly i think i have there queen bee i have two queen bees and that should allow me to make two of these Missing requirement. Sadly, it seems like I don't have enough. I don't. I think I removed one. Um, yeah, I removed a workbench from here. Let's put you down there. Uh, oh, wait. Can I have you up there? Now let's have you there that's um that's better it's more out of the w out of the way and not in the way there we go and the bees are happy so i need to let these work and after some time they should be i should be able to gather honey from them so, and let's see, let's say 20, that means I can take 40 from there, and that should give me a whole bunch of bronze. Now, what I need to do is basically upgrade my... I need to upgrade my armor. I need a lot... A lot more... Armor and... Um, maybe even a weapon upgrade. Uh, let's see actually short on tin right now but for the time being i think we should go with just let's take 20 of you and let's bring the rest of the bronze and at the snail's pace bring ourselves all the way over here and let's go and bring some wood so I'm probably going to need it. Now, one thing that I do know I need. Now, if you... I'm using a very specific mod here. And if I click E to add wood, normally you would add one piece of wood. What does that mean? You need to press E 25 times to fill the kiln. Now, I have a mod, which means I can press once and it adds all 25. It's a really, really good mod. Um, without that, that I would have gone crazy at some point. Um, 
I have already played a lot without the mod, so I think I can just find using it. Let's see. We can make the bronze plate cuirass and sadly it actually it gives me movement speed debuff but it, like gives me a debuff of move on five percent movement speed Ugh. anyway i need armor so i can't really complain here we go and oh leather scraps that's mm. And that's that's the leggings. Let's do this. Here we go. And all of a sudden I have a lot more armor. And I have 25 instead of what was it? Seven. so yeah a big big difference um what i'm going to do is i'm going to see if i can pause because i don't want to take too much time um on just preparation and once i have Um, done this what I'm going to do I wonder um, yeah I think having the bronze buckler would be good I do need to make the, the cultivator to be able to plant stuff. And making the bronze pickaxe would probably be a good idea at this point. Um Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's um or we let's recycle Recycle. Recycle. And recycle. Good. And... Uh, core wood. Core wood. That should be enough. Let's make all the things I want. I want a cultivator. I want a bronze pickaxe. I want... The question is, do I want a mace or a sword? An aft gear, I don't think I want because uh, it's pierce, so it's basically a spear. Sort of a halberd. Um, hmm. I 
probably want the mace. Now let, let's make the sword and then have the, the club as that. Uh, and I'm basically out of materials at this point. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the recording and I'm going to finish it up everything and then we will head out to our boat and do a bit of exploring of what's left of the episode and see if we can find swamp. That's the goal of of the remainder. But there was a bit of um important stuff to do here. So but we will come back once we are ready. And we are back. And it took way longer than I wanted to get to where I am right now. Uh, for you, it's been mere seconds, but for me, it has been many, many minutes. And uh, But right now, I do have a bronze buckler. I do have a bronze pickaxe. I have a bronze sword. And I have... A fully I have a full set of bronze armor and yeah that's um, what's important I have also made sure I have food on me I made some Queen's jam I made some grilled necktail and I made some more cooked meat mostly because this is the best food I can make right now, and sadly I can't make any I can't make any poison resist resistance like mead based poison resistance. I can't really make that because I don't have enough honey. And I think we should use the time for something else right now, other than just doing a bunch of whole of stuff off camera just to accrue enough resources to show like one thing that will that will happen eventually anyway so here we are at the boat we need to hop onto the said boat and it's empty and just want to make sure never know Going to have to be a bit careful navigating out from here, but we should be fine. If you hit a rock, you will take damage, so... And, um... Yeah, the waves, go waves going up and down can actually make it so you do hit a rock. You... Or on your way, um, you're on the rise of a tide, like now, and that's above a rock, and then boom, you fall into the valley in between two waves, and all of a sudden you're on top of the rock and you're taking a lot of damage, which is highly likely and possible. And what we are going to do is we are going to see if we can explore down this way here see what we can find along here and then we will go sort of down in between whatever is over here but in between here and down and see what we can find and that's this here is a perfect example of Um, going through these kind of places can be dangerous. Uh, it's not super easy to see where the rocks are, really. 
So going through these kind of small openings might not always be a good idea. And the bigger your boat is, the harder it is to get through these kind of small openings. Um, yeah, so let's see. Let's swing that way and let's see if we can get some speed. And what we're looking for is Swamp. Now, one thing to know about the swamps is really... It's, it's two things, really. One, uh, it's dangerous because the enemies... It's the next level of enemies, so they hit harder, they have more HP, all of that normal, what you sort of expect from this. And also, um, oh, that wave made me take damage. Uh, but also what you... what you um, need to be careful of as well is poison and that poison can kill you very quickly hence why there is such a thing such as poison resistance because trust me you will need it and we will use it. Ooh, I need to get out of the storm. I'm taking a lot of damage and I'm getting thrown around quite a lot. Need to ease on the Need to get into a different biome all weathers are biome biome related so if there's a storm in say ocean biome which it is right now um it is a storm in all across the map all the oceans across the map at the same time which doesn't make sense but it's it's a game and yeah, so that way you can avoid certain weather by going into a different biome. But anyway, talking about the swamp. Um, the second thing is that there, it will always be wet. You will always, at every single time you, you go into a swamp, you will get the wet debuff. And it, it will stay on. It will not go away. And this an issue related to that. And um, that is stamina. Stamina. If we take a look here. Uh, active effects wet lowering your health and stamina regeneration health region is minus 25 and stamina region is minus 15 now the the health regeneration is i mean if you take damage you will probably take 
enough damage so the more um, passive health regen doesn't really do much so health regen you probably won't notice a major difference but stamina oh my god stamina will there's a lot of enemies in the swamp and let's just say if um if you don't have enough stamina normally because you're fighting a lot or whatever it is you're doing then the swamp will make it even harder just because of the wet debuff so yeah that's a thing but we are getting would be nice if <laughs> could stop storming out on the ocean um so i can actually like explore a bit more but yeah oh i might want to come back when it's daytime so i think that might be what we do next time we have explored here i think i want to go this way just to see if there's more swamp i think it is considering how the swamp is here it probably something like this but it's hard to say um and um I don't want to oh my god that's that's a big scary blob monster yeah those blobs is what's really dangerous about the swamp they are the ones that do poison and uh, if you get poisoned you die very very quickly um and if you don't die you, at least your hp will go down very quickly and uh now what poison resistance does is not actually make you immune towards poison but rather make you resistant towards it which means if you do get poisoned you will take a lot less damage and when i say a lot i really do mean a lot less it's just it, it's not like it's just a percent a percentage or two it's a substantial difference is actually really 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 big uh i don't know if it's like 90 percent but i think i think it's like at least 80 percent damage reduction from poison you do take a lot less um now i think what i'm going to do is see if i can find a good sort of spot to bunker down i don't think i want to stay in black forest and 
ไปซีสไนค์ส์คุณเป็นเรื่องที่แย่ๆเขาทำเขาสามารถทำเยอะๆกับการทุบชิปสุดๆโอเคเขาไม่ได้ทำอะไรอีกแล้วเขาทำให้เขาถูกทิ้งไปโอเค Because I don't want to deal with you. Um, let's swing around a bit so we can one get a bit of wind behind us, and uh, two maybe find land. Um, this is a big black forest area. Or at least decently large, and apparently I found planes. Now, if you find a large area of planes, do not approach it. You will most likely not survive if you approach it, so do not approach it. Um, I think what I'm going to do is get a bit closer to to the shore here, and do a bit of a an outro. Pause the game, and I will have to do a toilet break in between. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, the uh, we have been exploring. Where is this? Like seventeen, eighteen minutes ish from where the elder base is, and then. Um, All the way down here, and it wasn't really a smooth path, but still, yeah, I think it's been actually we had had actually decent wind. Now the wind is garbage, but it's okay, and. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I repair. That's actually why I'm trying to reach the shore, uh, since I took a bit of damage during the storm. It's, it's good to uh, make sure the boat is fully repaired and prepared for continuation of this journey, which is. Let's see if we can find some more swamp. And jump off to stop the boat. And let's pause just so time stop. And there we go. I will continue finding swamp. The bit of swamp that I uh, got to, I. Didn't see anything like the big crucial things that we need, and we have just to show you. We have this swamp key, and the swamp key is required to open up the um, a swamp dungeon. Basically, it's a dungeon in the swamp. And that's where we need to go. And they only spawn in swamps. And not all swamp biomes have them. So that's why that's why I'm searching for uh, for more swamp areas. And 
um yeah we'll, we'll see if i find um and uh, there's also one thing else that we need and that is to see if we can find a swamp biome which have the next like summoning stone for for, for the for the next boss so to speak so there's a few requirements of the swamps and um the swamp is usually the big hurdle in Valheim. That's the the really hard part. Once you've mastered the swamp, the rest is kind of okay. Um, the mountains can be kind of hard as well, but mostly the swamp the swamp is actually the big hurdle, as far as I I feel. Uh, but we will continue searching for more swamp and uh, that is going to have to wait until next time so for now i think a like for this video would be super awesome and nice if you did and um yeah with that thanks for watching goodbye and i hope i'll see you in the next one